we have got the Wilson Blade version 9. I have the 100 square inch. I have the 98. Which is better? Let's find out. Now today we have the two Wilson Blade V9 6019s. One of course in the traditional 98 head and of course the new one in the bigger 100 head size. Um, this has been a review that we've been asked for repeatedly in the comments on much both requested much requested on both our 100 review and on our 98 1619 versus 1820 review so we've finally blended the two together to bring you 100 versus 98 and they're both brilliant yes before we get into the nitty-gritty of everything they are fantastic rackets we love liked all the blades we've tested now um, Wilson said they claimed this was going to be a sharper blade it's, um, and it is, it's a lovely racket, isn't it? Yep. Um, we have strung them with restring sink at 50 pounds. Which gauge? Um, we've used the 1.25 gauge, um, which is a soft control string designed for comfort and pocketing. So in a nice sharp blade, some nice soft string, we're expecting to put these two through their paces and have a great time doing it. So these two Wilson blades, whilst very similar, are in fact, slightly different. Yes, so as with most um, tennis brands, with most frames, when they go from 98 to 100, they do change the weight slightly as well. So the 100 square inch is 300 gram, and the 98 square inch is 305 grams. He's correct. Yes, and we think, and it seems this is the same in almost every single 98 to 100, isn't yeah. it? Pure drive, the boom, strikes, E, -zone. um, e zones, all of them do this. We think it is essentially as you shrink the head size, you lose a little bit of power, so they add a bit more weight to try and counteract that. Yeah, in terms of balance point, both rackets are the same at 320, so we shall see um, how those differing specs uh, come into play as we play. So let's get on court and give them a go. Sorry for interrupting. If you are enjoying this video, we would really appreciate a quick subscribe and a like. Let's get back to it. We're back. Uh, it's not exactly sunny London. No, this is carrying on our theme of a little weather report every uh, single it's video. It's currently raining very hard. It's quite windy. So whilst we did just uh, use these rackets this morning, um, filming on court was impossible. So we've come into the shop, uh, into the dry and the still uh, to let you know how we thought. And they were great. Yes, as expected, both blades were... Especially with the wind behind you. Yes. Then they were very yeah. great. As expected, both blades were glorious to play with. Glorious. Like we, This is going to be a difficult comparison. It's going to be a difficult versus because they are both really, really nice rackets. See, I disagree. Interesting. Please, tell us why. <laughs> no, I think for the same family of racket, they are quite different. Um, and played quite differently. The same as within the 98, the 1619, 1820 are quite different. Yep. Again, this is another different blade. Yes, but um, you still like them both. Oh yeah, absolutely, I did both like them both. Can, both things can be true. So, the first thing that I really noticed was the 100 felt more bladey in a sense of it being very cushioned and mm -hmm. very comfortable yep. and very soft. Um, in comparison to the 98, which felt a bit more kind of solid. Yeah, so you could say that the, the sharper blade yes. in the 98, maybe not in the 100. Yeah, I, I definitely think that. And, and to the fact that when we came back from playing, we were like, oh, I wonder if the stiffness, if the RA, if the RA rating is the same on both. So we looked into it and it's not. So what we felt was actually yeah. uh, true in the spec. It's not a huge difference, but it is a noticeable difference. So when you're at home and you're looking through the specs and trying to compare rackets, you might go, oh, well, the 98 has a RA of 62, yep. and the 100 has a RA of 60. You go, ah, oh, it's only two points. It doesn't really make any difference. It feels a lot more significant than just those two points. I think it? also because of the bigger head size pl pl plays a factor yes. into that as well. It just feels... Um, 
more soft, uh, softer and more cushioned. Yes. Um, but that'll be, that'll be because of the expanded head size, the yep. strings are going to have moved slightly further apart. Yep. We should get more pocketing, more dwell time, and we love a bit of dwell time, don't we? We do. Um, a little bit more power, a little bit more spin, and in theory, it shouldn't feel quite so solid and hard, should it? Well, let's move away from theory and go through those categories. Yeah, so, right. spin. Uh, and those of you who've seen our Blade 100 review will know how high we were on the blade spin potential um, of the 100, and that remains the case. Yep. Um, the Blade 100 definitely creates more spin than its 98 brother. Counterpart. Counterpart. Sister, why couldn't that be? I think rackets are brothers. But if boats are female, yes. why are rackets male? I don't know, I just feel like they are. Big should brother, we, little brother. Should we change it? No. no. So, spin, 100. Power. 100 as well. Well, ish. ish. With a caveat, right? Obviously, because of the extra weight in the 98, when you get it moving, mm -hmm. I think, and you nail it, yep. I think you can hit it harder. Have and you, also, it's stiffer. Have you ever played with a racket where you felt the size of the sweet spot quite as much as these two? Like, no, it's you, true. You can really feel that this is a smaller, tighter sweet spot, and you can feel that you've got some margin for error with the yeah. So I would say, obviously, if you're play if you are defending or you've got a little short, little jabby swing, you're just pushing at the ball, then the hundred mm -hmm. has easier access to power in that way. Yeah. But if you are playing with a long attacking swing, trying to hit the ball hard, I think the 98 drain gets more power from the extra weight and the extra stiffness. Yes. But not we're not talking huge gaps here are we it's very very close yeah yeah so there you have it power kind of a split uh yeah split field. depending yeah yes the power will depend on you and the conditions and the and the general context of where you're where and when yeah. you're playing spin always going to be the hundred yep what about feel well so feel comfort softness it has to be the hundred that little bit less stiff, mm -hmm. it's more gooey. Yep. More spongy, like volleying, like little touches was just like, oh, it was like I was catching it in my hand and throwing the ball back. There is an assumption that that is better. Correct. But so you, so I think you, again, they feel very, very different. Yep. Gooey, maybe not the word, <laughs> like again, positive. Yeah. Gooey is positive, is it? Well, in a waffle. <laughs> um, <laughs> So just sharper and softer, but mm. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. They, again, just do different things with different people, I would say. Yeah, but generally softer when it comes to comfort yes. is preferable yes, if you were looking for something comfortable. Yeah, but in terms of the sharpness that we were promised. Promised, prom yes. Yeah, there we go. Um, uh, control. Control. Putting the ball where you want it. Yeah. So I'd Very say it's a bladey thing. I'd say it's the 100. Well, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> absolutely, the, the, absolutely the 98 is more of a control racket. But you get the margin for error, you get some flexibility, and you get that extra bit of spin to help you control ah, the ball. So if you're not that air. good, and you need some help yes, with a bigger exactly. sweet spot, then the 100's good. Yeah. If you're a bit better and you time the ball nicely, more consistently, then the 98 is more accurate. Yeah, I'm gonna completely ignore your point. The <laughs> 98 has got a really, really solid Feel, yes, which so creates easy. that consistency at impact, serving, volleying, and therefore control. If you want to <laughs> locate the ball onto the court, I don't think there's a huge amount of difference between the two. Really? See, that surprises me because whilst I would say on power, it was was split in based on those two different styles of play when defending yeah. or attacking almost. Spin was very much the hundred. Comfort was very much the hundred. I thought control was very much the 98, especially when kind of opening up and going for it and when yeah. when being aggressive, the 98 to me became the much better racket because I think you got more power and more control. On the back foot, needing some help and needing some comfort and stability and, and help, then I think the 100 really helped. But the extra stability of the 98 being a bit stiffer, a bit tighter, almost felt more solid more so if you're weak, a high degree if of you're quality. weak and feeble you need the racket to be strong and stable for you is what you're saying oh, absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> to summarize these two blades were both great to use both on their own and uh, whilst comparing them it was a very fun uh, activity <laughs> which one would you use if you had to use one right now to play which one are you picking 100 i think and i would pick the 98 yep there you go so the 
Blade 98, to me, just has a little bit more sense of quality, stiffness, stability, um, and playability, and that is why I would choose it. Um, I've got no sort of particular affinity towards the Blade 100, just between these two, I would, I think I would prefer to play a match using the 100. Like I said earlier, if I had to use the 98, absolutely no problem. I think obviously as a Speed MP user, not a huge surprise to me that no. you prefer the 100, because generally I think you prefer that yes. anyway. Yes, that is certainly true. But there is a, a little benefit to owning a Blade these days. Is there? Yes, there is. Now, bear with me a moment. <laughs> you right down there? You can now accessorize your racket with matching shoes. Ooh, and what a shoe it is. This yeah. is the Rush Pro 4.0. The paint matches exactly, and if people still aren't sure how much you love your racket, Wilson have even written the name on the back. Yeah. So now everyone knows how much you love your blade. So, I don't know, is that, there, aren't, there isn't a speed. I'm, lo I'm looking around to see if there's a blade bag, but there isn't one, so you're, you won't be able to accessorize with a bag at the moment. You'd have to just go with shoe and a racket. I just love the fact that they've written the name of it on the back. It's so on the nose, it's perfect. Blade! Um, and if you are in the UK and interested in buying a blade, um, we are uh, about to run a special offer where you can get a half price pair of uh, Rush Pro 4.0 blade shoes with the purchase of any blade. So, you know, can't get better than that. Certainly can't. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all of our subscribers and all the, everyone who leaves a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, do it now, please. There should be a button down there somewhere. We will see you next time.